Hey guys, it's Andy here from CoachStates.com. Welcome to my next video where we're going to be talking about cheat days. Should you include them? Are they good? And my experience with them. I'm here at Dynasty Gym and this is where I do my in-person PT work. It's downtown Vancouver, BC. This is also where I train. They've got a great setup down here with like the COVID uh, restrictions. They've got everything kind of sectioned off. So you've got your own station to work out in and inside they've they're currently doing the crossfit open 20 21.2 which is les mis i did it back in 2017 and uh, i'm glad i'm not doing it this year mate see what i mean let me just show you down here bunch of filthy maggots getting after it right down there anyway let's get into the video Okie dokie, here we go. So I wanna talk about cheat days. Cheat days is a topic or a question that I get really often from people, whether they're just reaching out to me for advice or whether they're becoming a client. Andy, I have this one day a week where I don't track calories and uh, the rest of the week I'm very strict, but one day a week I just eat whatever I want. You know, it's my treat, it's my cheat, my cheat meal, my cheat day. And is that still okay? There's a few ways of looking at this and I know exactly where you are coming from when you ask this question because I have been in the same situation. I've done this same process of having a big cheat day. My brother and I read The 4-Hour Body by Tim Ferriss and we would be like super strict or it was like the slow carb diet, I believe it was called. We'd be super strict throughout the week. We'd be eating like bol bolotti beans. We'd be eating gammon steak, steaks, chicken breast, broccoli and that would be like every meal like throughout the week and then at the weekend we would go for a full English breakfast followed by milkshakes followed by brownies and we would literally go to town on that whole day eating whatever we wanted to and I found from my experience that it actually made the process harder yes you could have that time where throughout the week you're eating your strict food that was not enjoyable by the way like every time I opened my lunchbox, waft. Everyone at the office that I worked in at the time must have thought, good grief, Taters has been bloody letting rip again. It was just broccoli, chicken, bolotti beans. It must have, it absolutely stunk every time, honestly. It was not enjoyable opening that up to eat. And then, so that would be miserable throughout the week and then I'd have this one day where I'd go to town. And yes, of course, I would be looking forward to that one day where I could just shovel it down and not care about the calories. In my opinion, it's not the most healthy mindset to have going into a nutrition plan or nutrition in general. You know, being miserable for seven, six days a week only to have like one day where you can actually enjoy the food. And it just makes the process harder because you have that one day where the food tastes great. The following few days, you are almost withdrawing every time. Uh, that you have a cheat day. I found like I would have a cheat day on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It was just really hard to get back to that same uh, food that I was having. So I honestly don't like the idea of, okay, you spend the whole week being miserable just so you can look forward to your, your one meal at the end of the week. What I much prefer is to try and have your, you know, an inclusive diet throughout the week and still hit your macros because here's the other thing when you have a cheat meal or a cheat day it's so easy to overconsume. like i dread to think how many calories i was consuming on those cheat days you can outdo all of your progress by one day even potentially you can really outdo a lot of progress by one meal so i would much rather you spread the calories that you would have had in that meal out throughout the rest of the week have an inclusive diet it's much more of a healthy mindset to have instead of kind of starving yourself just so you can have this one day a week where you can really go to town not only that you are not going to risk undoing all the great progress you've made for that week here's an example let's say you're in a 500 calorie per day deficit with a target of weight loss of one pound per week that's just a rough estimate thinking that there's about 3,500 calories per one pound of body tissue. So that would be 500 calorie deficit per day. So you get to the seventh day and just think it's like so easy to eat 3,500 calories 
if you're eating high calorie dense foods. Like you could totally do that and undo all the progress you've made. So why would you want to do that? So people say to me, hey Andy, I have this cheat day once a week. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, first of all, how's that working out for you right now? You know, you're obviously reaching out because you're struggling to make progress. And uh, be, I think it's a good idea to be willing to change your approach to see if there's another way that can work. And I honestly don't think it's the most healthy mindset to be, to be thinking of it as a cheat meal or a cheat day. Because if, you're, if you have a set calorie target and a macro target, or even if you're doing this without tracking, and if you are making progress towards that, and your cheat day fits within your calorie allowance, I would argue that that's not cheating because you're not actually going over and above your, your targets. So maybe reframe the way that you think about that as to become, instead of that's a day where you, ha you cheat because you're not cheating on anything, use that day as to have some treat, okay? So what that could be is instead of going to town on, you know, you're gonna have a whole pizza, you're basically gonna restock up on everything that you've cut out for the last six days. Just have something that you enjoy mixed in a few times a week, and that is a much healthier mindset to have. It also stops the potential to always want to be overeating, because you get to that one day a week where you're just shoveling it down, and you want that just to continue. And so as you go on the rest of your life, you're gonna to wanna to do that with every meal. Your perspective is that that's great, that feels good. From my experience and in my opinion, working with other people, it's okay to make progress towards certain weight loss goals, but it's also important to have a healthy approach to your nutrition, a healthy mindset with your nutrition, because you want something that's gonna be sustainable over the long term. And from what I've seen, having a cheat day where you go wild is just gonna outdo a hell of a lot of progress. Now, if you're able to have a treat and that fits within your calorie and macro targets, or it means that you're still making progress at the rate that you want to, then you can go ahead and keep doing that. But in my opinion, it's gonna be better off sprinkled in throughout the week as opposed to having an exclusive diet at the, throughout the week and then a one day a week really going to town, shoveling it down. Um, and of course, if you are someone that is not trying to lose weight, if you're trying to maintain weight and focus on performance, or if you are trying to gain weight, you certainly have more freedom with your nutrition. So you are, you've got more calories to play with. So in that sense, again, you're not cheating on your diet at all. So just to wrap this video up, I would just like to challenge your thinking around this topic because you could potentially be making much better progress if you were to have a different approach to your nutrition. Not only that, but you're gonna have a better relationship with food. And instead of calling it a cheat day, having, it, having treats, something that you do enjoy in an inclusive diet, is much better for longevity and sustainability over the long term. If you are going to approach someone to help you with your nutrition, go in with an open mind. You know, what can you learn? I had posted something a few weeks back, which was Albert Einstein saying, you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. And I think that's true here in this situation where, you know, if you're struggling to make progress, but you're hell bent on having your cheat day, you know, something's got to change. And, you know, maybe this cheat day is not going to, is holding you back. Maybe this cheat day is holding you back. So here's my advice. Feel free to have treats. Try and make them fit within your calorie and macro budget. You've got to have an inclusive diet, otherwise it's going to be absolutely miserable. Don't be like me, tucking into bolotti beans, gammon steak, and broccoli. Especially if you work close to people, because they're going to think you let rip 24-7. Okay, so make sure that you are enjoying your diet. Doesn't matter what your calorie target, you should still be able to you know, choose nutrition and foods that you enjoy eating so that you can enjoy the process. Hopefully then you're gonna see much more progress towards the goal that you actually want to achieve. If you're someone that really likes cheat days, rethink that, come up with a different plan of attack and see how that works for your progress. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found that helpful. Plenty more to come. I'm gonna try and do this video every, every week, so keep an eye out. Feel free to subscribe, 
please like, give it the old thumbs up for our taters, okay? So I know that you're there. I really appreciate you watching, you spending your time out of your day to, to learn about nutrition. And I will see you in the next video.